is a picture of all the tools you're gonna need. Uh, of course, you're gonna need uh, six quarts, which I do have another one of these. Uh, your air, the filter, oil filter, which looks like this. Make sure it has this rubber seal. Uh, you'll need this to take off those the flap, which is a 10 mil. You also will need this to break off uh, the, the the screw for the oil, get the oil out, as well as a 24 to take off your uh, oil filter top, uh, and as well as a drip pan. So these are the items that you will need to do this job. And as you can see, there's it's one right here. It's probably off camera, but it's right here. I'm trying. And then there's two in the back, back there, and the other one's back here. Okay, let's see that. So that's that one in the front. Of course, there's another one right there in the back. Right there. And then right there. Of course, the back one. Right. This cover off, right? Back here. Uh, that is a 10 mil to take those off. All right. And that's what those look like. That's a 10 mil on those. So you get those four moved out the way. You want to take this cover off. Got a little bunch of here. Once you get that off, you get exposed to that boat you need for your oil right there. So you go find something, get that off with the size 13 mil to break that loose. So I already kind of loosened it already, so I don't really need that no more. Got my drip pan as well as my cardboard in case we're any mess. I'm expecting it to shoot out by right there. Nice and black. Let that thing grip out. Where's that drip? Right. You know. See what that looks like. So, you know. Something like that. All right. So I'm gonna put sun drain in, so I can see just dripping. I'm gonna put this back on there. And I'm gonna put uh, that back on there. So. Uh, sorry. See what I'm doing. All right, a little snug. I don't want to make it too snug, so the next time I'll be able to take it off. Last time I fucking cranked it too much. You want it snug, you don't want it super tight though. It's gonna be hard the next time. So once we got that, I'm gonna put this back on. Right. And that's what the old ones looks like. I'll put that there. Compare it to the new one. I'm gonna take the new one out. Put that seal back up here. All right. Okay, just like so. It's not all the way at the top, so. Bam this. Part snaps inside of here. See, snaps. I'm gonna tighten that way back up. Now when you're changing your oil, I always make sure it has that seal that was hard to get off as well as this because a lot of times people bring back their oil in these and they might make a mistake and give you some old oil. So make sure it has this seal, okay? Make sure that is on there, all right? Now. All right. And I'm gonna use that to uh, put my old oil back in so I can return it back to uh, the store. So, so I'm gonna keep that. Now here's the other five quart that I bought and I only need to use a quart of this. So it was at five, cut myself now. It was at five. So I just need to get it down to four quarts and then I'll be our six quarts, quarts, so. All right, that's our six quarts. And now I have extra oil to fill up if I need it before my next oil change. So that's why I went ahead and bought two of them with the uh, extra filter because it came with the deal. So I got an extra filter already for my next that's side. Up. All right, we're done here. Here. All right, so now inside your car, 
which I already fucking did it on accident. I wasn't recording. But you want to make sure that your car is on run. All right. And the vehicle information. You want to go to vehicle information, right? And when it gets to oil life, of course, I already changed mine. But once you get to oil life and you need to reset it, you would just hold down OK. See, I says hold OK to reset. And then it reset it to 100. So that's how you clear that on there. All right, guys. I hope that helps. Peace.